U.S. women's soccer team, including Mount Notre Dame grad Rose Lavelle, goes for gold tomorrow. That's right. WLWT News finds Brian Hamrick talked to people on Rose's journey into the history books back when she was still learning to write her name. Well, Rose Lavelle is leaving an impression on the next generation of players. She has all the attributes of a great athlete, physical, mental, and around this town, some will tell you, she always has. In the athletic history of Rose Lavelle. So this is her gymnasium. And the first chapter was written here. We have Rose, uh, championship fifth grade basketball. At St. Vincent Fair. And we have Rose on the championship volleyball team. Her name appeared in her school gym long before it did on soccer jerseys in department stores. Of course, Rose Lavelle. She's done great things in the world of soccer, but more than that, she's just a wonderful person. Um, she's very true to who she is, and we love that about her. We're a tiny but mighty school. Mickey Dunkley is principal at St. Vincent Fair now and remembers an interesting moment of foreshadowing when Rose came to school dressed as her biography subject, soccer great Mia Hamm. And she was just such a fun kid. Um, full of joy, full of energy in the best way possible, and just so positive all the time. And I see those traits in her on TV now with her team. Rose Lavelle has been on the U.S. soccer team since 2019, won Olympic bronze in 2020, but started her high school career at Mount Notre Dame. It's quick one, two, it's Riley who opens up to play it to RJ. We all love her and want her to win. It's like really inspiring to watch like someone who is just a normal girl on a team like this become something so amazing. Just seeing her play on TV and watching her live, but seeing her in person right next to you talking to is like a completely different experience. And as they all watch Rose Lavelle in the Olympic finals, it's as clear as ever. Memory Lane is still under construction. This is just one part of her story. We know she's going to go on to do continue to do great things. Yes, some have followed every detail of her career and can't wait for the next chapter, which comes out tomorrow. Ryan Hamrick, WLWT News 5. And the game begins at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Watch parties are happening all around town, including one at St. Vincent Ferrer, and you'll be able to watch at one of those.